أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم من همزه ونفخه ونفخه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مدل لنا ومن يدل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى أهله وصحبه وتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين ربي شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي Our highly revered elders well respected brothers and sisters alike Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh We give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as always, the Lord of everybody and everything. Part of his favors is that he has spared our lives from the day we stopped till now, alhamdulillah. It is part of the callings of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wherein he says that مَجْتَمَعَ قَوْمٌ فِي بَيْتٍ مِنْ بُيُوتِ اللَّهِ no group of people will stay and converge in one of the houses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, remembering Allah, trying to learn more about their religion, except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send down angels that will cover them with rahmah, favors from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Beneath the hadith, Prophet Sallam says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will honor them by mentioning them one after the other. May Allah make this city in channel to our Jannah to Fardaus. Now, inshallah, Kareem, we are going to make a step forward in our book, Sifa to Wudu Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Inshallah, Kareem, from page 7, while we round off our description of Salat of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, before last week, we were at the At-Tashahud. We reminded ourselves that At-Tashahud when you look at ahadith, we have more than four ahadith, and then we have different at-tashahud. Then, the one we need to understand, at-tashahud, taught by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There was one all of us were used to, at-tahiyyatu lillah, at-tayyibatu lillah, at-zakiyyatu lillah, this and that. It was not the one Prophet sallam taught the sahaba. The one we had authentic hadith, that at the people of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, taught that person, al-musiru salatuhu. Then the one we saw in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim, that tashahud is the one Prophet Sallam taught the Sahaba himself. At-tahiyyatu lillah. Wa-tayyibatu wa-salawat. As-salamu alayka ayyuha al-nabi. Wa-rahmatullah wa-barakatuhu. As-salamu alayna wa-ala ibadillahi salihin. We said, the book of Imam Nasir al-Din al-Albani, Sifat Salat al-Nabi. The description of the prayer of Prophet Sallam, Ka'anna katarahu, as if you and I were there, when Prophet Sallam exemplified, and then did this in front of the Sahaba. There was a little change. It is recorded in the book. For those who have the book already, inshallah, we are still going to treat it. The Sahaba said, when Prophet Sallam was alive, they were saying, As-salamu alayka ayyuha al-nabiyyu. Peace of Allah be unto you, O you, the Prophet of Allah. Wa rahmatullah, and the mercy of Allah. Wa barakatuhu, and more blessings of Allah SWT. As-salamu alayna, may the peace of Allah be upon every single one of us. Wa ala ibadillahi salihin, and all the good from among the servants of Allah SWT. May Allah make all of us from among them. When Prophet Sallam died, he said, they changed it to as-salamu ala nabi, because... The scholars said it took a good number of Sahaba time to come to the reality, the certainty that Prophet Sallallahu actually died. Just like we had about Abu Bakr Siddiq, radiallahu ta'ala an. Immediately Prophet Sallallahu died. The reason why he was not buried instantly 
In fact, he was not buried the following day. Allahu Akbar. Until two nights later, according to our dad, according to what we can lay our hands to, and they will have it authentic, recorded in books of Sunnah. Abu Bakr was the first person. He took them. When they said, As-salamu alayka, you and Nabi, made them to them, they burst the tears while in salat. Because they used to see Prophet Sallam say, As-salamu alayka, you and Nabi. Peace of Allah be unto you, O you Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But after his demise, they could not come to that time. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam actually gone. Some of them, As-salamu alayka, you and Nabi. As he starts crying, the second one saw, third row, fourth row, and then, Wallahu Ta'ala Alam. In that Sifat to Salat al Nabi of Sheikh Nasruddin al Albani, it was reported that the Sahaba changed it from As Salatu Alaika, As Salamu Alaika, you and Nabi, to As Salamu Ala Nabi, wa Rahmatullah. The, 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 the difference is just that the peace of Allah be upon Prophet Muhammad because he was no longer there. There are so many cases like that that they changed. And I remembered, I made mention that, so that one would know us, have they not changed Salat? Prophet Sallam gave them the opportunity. And he gave us the opportunity that whatsoever, humul mahdiyin, they got right guidance from Allah. Then, alaykum bi sunnati, when I eventually go, after my demise, don't leave my sunnah. Wa sunnatul khulafai rashidin, and the sunnah of the rightly guided caliphs, al mahdiyin, those who are upon the right guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, abdu alayha bin nawajiz. When we check uh, the book of... Uh, Umbrat uh, al-Ahkam is mentioned there too. That anything, when you talk of Sunnah, when you talk of Hadith, then part of Sunnah Prophet Sallam, the first Prophet Sallam legalized, is silent about them, having done by either of the Sahaba. And then, whether I was there or I was not there, similar things, we saw it in the reign of Abu Bakr Siddiq, one of such, apart from As-Salamu Alaikum, you and Nabi, that we said we could change, was there were other changes made after the demise of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Right when they were praying, Prophet sallam used to lead salat when the last year, in fact, in the authentic area, I remember one year before he passed on, he sat down and led salat while the Sahaba also led salat behind him. Now the same thing that concept was brought by Zaid bin Haritha, that one can actually do it today. But where we, have, uh, where we don't have the similarity is that we are not sent as a messenger of Allah. He was sent as a messenger of Allah. Whatsoever he did, those who saw him and copied, Allah SWT gave it to them, as he made mention. Khairul Qurun Qurni. The best of all generations was my generation. Another generation, another hundred years after them. Another hundred years after them. Wallahu ta'ala alam. Then we said at the Shahudul Awal. There's difference between the first tashahud and the second one. The first tashahud, we only recite the tashahud, but are we to recite a salat ala nabi there or until we get to the last tashahud before we terminate salat? The scholar said, some are of the opinion that we can actually do a tashahud and then we rise up for that third raka, if it is third raka, before we continue and do tashahud al akhir. But we have the authentic hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu sallam, that says we can actually do a tashahud and still and do a salat ala nabi, even in the first tashahud. What is salat ala nabi? The one we know, salat Ibrahimiyya. It is part of common mistakes. We have few people today who do their own as salat ala nabi during salat, but not the same as salat Ibrahimiyya. Their salat, according to scholars, is invalid. Is invalid because no one was sent to us with salat apart from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. One can do salat apart from salat to Ibrahimiyya either just to seek blessing of Allah for Prophet sallam or you do your salat on your own. But the one in salat must be salat to Ibrahimiyya. We cannot change salat to Ibrahimiyya to salat to Fati in salat la. We cannot change it to salat to Sabik la. We cannot change it to salat to Indina. La, these are categories of salawat that people do today. If you, may, you may choose to do any salat on your own, but inside the prayer, either tashahud al awwal or after tashahud al none of us is permitted to do any other form of a salat al nabi apart from salat al ibrahimiyya. How do we do it? 
Can somebody try it? As-salatu al-Ibrahimiyya. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Wa ala ala Muhammad. Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim. Wa ala ala Ibrahim. Innaka hamidun majid. Wa barik ala Muhammad. Wa ala ala Muhammad. Kama barakta ala Ibrahim. Wa ala ala Ibrahim. Fil ala mina innaka hamidun majid. Now underline this. That was the reason why I asked. Can someone do it? Fil ala mina innaka hamidun majid. Underline it. Another one, Allahumma sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammad wa alayhi Muhammad, kama sallayta ala Ibrahim, wa ala ala Ibrahim, innaka hamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad. Not, wa barik ala Muhammad. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad, wa ala ala Muhammad, kama barakta ala Ibrahim, wa ala ala Ibrahim, innaka hamidun majid. All are correct. All of them are correct. The most important thing we need to understand is that none of us is allowed to read any other salat apart from salat al ibrahimiyya during our prayer. Now, the first tashahud, the one we do, let's take, for instance, salat al zuhur We do two first, we sit down and do tashahud. That tashahud is called the first tashahud. The scholars, part of that hadith is that, in fact, Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah ta'ala, in his book he said, even it's just like semi, semi compulsory that once you do a tashahud in awal, you are required to also do a salat al in the first sitting too, before you go to, or you get to so tashahud al Now, after this, we have done the tashahud, we have done the salat al in the first tashahud, someone gets up for the third raka. Fourth raka, then we do the last tashahud. Now, last, last tashahud, there are cautions made by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and then he gave us also opportunity. Number one, we start with that At-Tahiyyatu Lillah wa tayyibatu wa salawat As-salamu alayka ayyuhan nabi if you like As-salamu ala al-nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu As-salamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi salihin We are done Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah Wahdahu la sharika lah Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluhu Then, Allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala ala muhammad kama sallayta ala ibrahim wa ala ala ibrahim innaka hamidun majid Allahumma barika ala muhammad wa ala ala muhammad kama barakta ala ibrahim wa ala ala ibrahim innaka hamidun majid Then, we go to that al-isti'adha we made mention Prophet Sallam says, we must ensure that we don't terminate salat until we seek Allah's protection against four things Allahumma inna a'udhulika min adhaab jahannam wa a'udhulika min adhaab al-qabr وَعَدُلِكَ مِنْ فِتْنَةِ الْمَسِيحِ الدَّجَّالِ وَعَدُلِكَ مِنْ فِتْنَةِ الْمَحْيَا وَالْمَمَاتِ In Hadith, Abu Dhar, you can say this one before this one because we are different narration. One begin with Qabr. Allah minna a'udhulika minna adhaab al-Qabr. Wa minna adhaab al-Jahannam. Wa minna fitnat al-Mahya wal-Mamat. Wa minna shari fitnat al-Masihi al-Dajjal. All these four, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, don't terminate your salat until you seek Allah's refuge. Protection against these four. We made mention one of them, Masihi al-Dajjal during the uh, khutbah on major signs of end time. Masih Dajjal will come. And we gave example as Prophet Sallam described him. Allahu Akbar Kabir. Now, after this, the next thing is that Al-Adiyatul Maksuso, or al ama One should not still terminate Salat. These are part of common mistakes that people make. Some will just do At-Tashawud and terminate Salat. That Salat, some scholars say is invalid. Any salat without the salat al ibrahimiyah is invalid. Then, if you forget to say, Allah may not be coming out of Jahannam, or may not be coming out of the Prophet, or may not be coming out of the Prophet, if you forget, no problem. But make sure, because of the word of Prophet, Sallam, ensure that you don't terminate salat until you seek Allah's uh, protection against these four things. After that, you don't do your personal prayers. One can ask for dunya and akhirah before terminating salat. The only condition that prohibits that one from doing prayer there is when somebody does not know what to say except in his own language. No. You say it in Arabic. You are not permitted, I'm not permitted to say it in English. One cannot say it in his own local language that after everything, oh Allah, oh Bangiji, me girma, me kowa, kabani, dunya de la akhirah. Ah, not inside for. When you do a nafila, during sujood, you can say it. But some scholars go against it completely that anything salat, what is their own reference? Prophet says, Unna hadi is salat. 
لا يسلمها شيء من كلام البشر. This salat, nothing, nothing is expected of any one of you to make it better or to decrease it من كلام البشر from word of human being by himself. Every other thing you do there between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now bringing your language there, it is null and void. So one will say, if you don't know anything, رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ One is still stretching his finger. Now, part of common mistakes, or let's say little uh, argument among scholars. Some will believe, if you do this, this is the best. Some will say, you have to do taharik. When you check a hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you have authentic hadith in Sunan Abi Da'ud, the one that supports taharik. It's stronger than the one that stays for making it. Two of them are correct, but the most authentic is to do taharik in Sunnah Abi Dawood. Now, when you do taharik, Hadith of Prophet Sallam says that taharik it gives shaitan turbulence, and you are not doing taharik and be looking elsewhere. Likewise, if you do in dar, you are looking at it. Then it's another signal, one signal to shaitan. Allah Taala. Alam. After all the adhikar, one can see any adhikar you know that is legitimate. Any adhua that you know. Rabbana atina fi dina sanata wa fi la akhirata sanata wa fi na adhaba na. Rabbi zidni ilma. Allahumma kfili. Allahumma. Anything. Then, without, if you are praying behind the imam, once the imam can make salat, you don't need to continue. Even if you have not finished your prayer. That is, if you have not finished your tashahud. You have finished everything. Imam says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. One is not permitted to, to continue with his own personal prayers. That's supplications. No, you terminate. Now, after terminating salat, the next thing, there are other things that we need to also understand. Part of salat, you have terminated it, then what are those things? In between the takbirat al ihram and taslim, we made mention. There are certain things that people don't pay attention to. Let me just mention about four, and then we we'll continue reading about uh, our wudu. One of such is al to ba'd al-imam, reciting with the imam. When Prophet was alive, at some point during the early hours of Islam, it was allowed for those who are behind the imam to also recite their own. When imam prays and recites aloud, salat to subi aloud, first and second rakah. Salat al-Maghrib, first and second raka. Salat al-Insha, first and second raka. Then third and fourth for Insha, third for Maghrib, silent. But later, Prophet Sallam prohibited the Sahaba because it became a confusion. The Prophet Sallam was reciting. Somebody's voice was on top, another one from another angle. After Salat, Prophet Sallam said, what happened? Halmin Munazi'i. There was somebody who was competing with me. And from there, he stopped them for three. Now, from that, some people make mistakes by no reading at all. Some make mistakes by reading only inside their heart. No. Let's take for Salat to Subi. You are not to read at all. You follow the Imam inside your heart. For Salat to Siriya, like Zuhur, like Asri, like last Raka of Maghrib, last two Raka of Insha, we are expected to recite. You read your own Surah, in Salat Zur, first two raka. As the moment is reading silently, you are also reading silently. Once you finish your surah, Surah Al Fatiha, you pick your another surah, whatever the Imam is reading, once the Imam goes to Ruku, you terminate your own, you stop it there, you go to, with the Imam. If the Imam is reading, for instance, the Ilaf Quraysh, he's bound to finish ahead of somebody who's reading Sabbishis Marabbika La'ala. The Imam finished. He goes to Ruku. Allahu Akbar. You are still in. You have to just continue and then follow the Imam. No, you have to follow the Imam. Now, your own recitation there, this is where we are going. In Salat, you are not to pronounce it out, but at least you move your lips. The same thing goes for adhikar. Our adhikar we normally do. Morning adhikar, evening adhikar, supplication. We are to move our leaves. Allahu Akbar. You are moving the leaves while the person behind you or beside you is not listening or is not hearing what you are actually reading. But you move your leaves. 
That's one that many don't do at all. Number two, that majority don't also do. And it decreases the quantum of rewards of salat. That is takbir. Allahu Akbar. When the man goes to Ruku, he says, Allahu Akbar. Some will just go to Ruku. They will not say anything. You also say, Allahu Akbar. He says, Sani Allahu liman hamida. You say, Rabbana lak alhamd. If you remember the adhikar you mentioned, if you don't remember, we need to study hamdan kathiran. Tayyiban mubarakan fi. Mila as-samawad. Wa mila al-ab. Wa mila madhinahuma. And it's sana. It's longer. We have shorter. We have now. After that, Imam goes to sujood. Allahu Akbar. Some will just go. They follow Imam. Bumper to bumper. Fine. But we are expected to also be saying Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Until Imam terminates Salat. Now, one of the major uh, problems that we normally have, that people don't care about it, and it decreases Salat for the individuals that are concerned. Al-Farjat of Sufuf, living spaces inside the self, the rows. We have said this repeatedly and again. Some don't want people to, to, to make their own feet, to, to join with their feet. If you join, they will move small. If you move with them, they will move again. At some point, at some point, somebody when you move, he moves, he moves, he moves, he moves, you will look at you inside like that. Rather than the band. Inside Salat, I've seen before. <laughs> Wallahi. <laughs> Even here and some other places too. Some, maybe they want to stay in a particular place, fine, but nobody has a particular place apart from the Imam. But wherever you are, you are, Prophet Sallam said, La tetruku furujati shaitan. Don't leave any space for shaitan. For shaitan will occupy that space. And hadith of uh, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, that Allah subhanahu ta'ala will bless Allah will bless whosoever that make sure that the soft, the role is complete. Number one. In another hadith of Aisha, this same Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, inna allaha wa malaikatahu yusallun ala al-ladhina yasifuna sufuf, yasiluna sufufa. Allah and his angels, they always pray for those who make sure that there are no gaps, there are no frujat inside the home. So for those who are running, let us try to also, inshallah, kareem, uh, Monitor that thing because it decrease it depreciates the quantum of reward we will have gotten from salat. Lastly, from that uh, angle, inshallah, Kareem, Al Murur, Amam Al Musalli. Every single person, individual that is praying, it is on us, on all of us, to have a sutra. Sutra. If you are praying with the Imam, that sutra of Imam covers for everybody. And always, the Imam has his own sutra in the front. But individually, like our brothers having nafila, you have sutra. If somebody does not have sutra, al murur amam al musalli, that is a it attracts a steep penalty. Pastor Salah did not mention the actual penalty, but he says, La yalamu al mar, bayna yad al musalli, la kana alu an yakfa arba'in, khairun min al khairun law, min an yamur amam al musalli. I did bring the person passes by in front of a praying Muslim. Adib B is aware of the gravity of the offense he's committing. He would have preferred to wait for 40. Prophet Salaam stopped there. He would have preferred to wait for 40. It's better for him to wait than to, to move in front of a praying Muslim. Then, ulama hadith, they now interpreted 40. Some said, he would have waited for that person to pray 40 raka. It's better for him still than to pass in front of a praying Muslim. Number one. Some of them said, the 40 means he will have waited for 40 years. It's better for him than to move in front of the Musalli. Then some of them said, how for you to, uh, you are not to understand the gravity. Prophet Sallallahu says, among those things that can nullify your salat instantly, without you contributing directly, is this issue of a sutra. When you are praying, you could be inside your room. Once a, a woman, al-haib, a menstruating woman passes in front of you, your salat is not avoid, it's invalid. Even if you recite Surah Al-Baqarah from the beginning to the end, even if she's your wife, once she passes in front of you without sutra, your salat is invalid. Number two, Al-Himar, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi made mention of donkey. If donkey passes in front of you, don't ask why donkey, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi mentioned that. Number three, Al-Kalb Al-Aswad, black dog. Once you are praying and black dog, moves in front of you without your sutra, that salat is null and void. Then, 
the scholars, they ask the Sahaba, what is the meaning? Ask, why specifically about black dog? What of green? What of yellow? What of this and that? First of all, say, who was shaitan. Black dog is a shaitan. For our brothers, those who move around in the estate with black dogs. Yes, some they move around. They who have not seen a Muslim, alhamdulillah. But for Muslims, those who do that, they are wakanu ikhwana shayafid. Wakana shaitanu li rabbihi kafura. Because Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wouldn't have said anything except that which Allah commanded him to say. Now, imagine you are having your salat, you perform your ghusl, you have your good ablution, you have best recitation, you have the most best, the best of posture, and then your, your humility is superb, your khushu is top of the range, yet a woman passes in front of you because of sutra. But today, people don't count sutra as anything. So let us also be uh, aware, and then inshallah, Kareem, take note of that. Wallahu ta'ala a'lam. Inshallah, Kareem, uh, Uh, thing that would draw attention to in this, inshallah, Kareem, it is not so rampant in our masjid, alhamdulillah. Uh, we cannot judge ourselves, but all our elders, our brothers, alhamdulillah, they are up to date. But what that kirfa in the dhikra can fa'ul mu'minin. Allah told Prophet, remind the believing men and women, fa in the dhikra can fa'ul because reminder is beneficial, inshallah, Kareem. May, may Allah make it more beneficial to all of us. Now, page 7 of the book, Tarifu al Wudu, Allah Akbar. What is ablution? This is something that Sabuna wa Hayyuna wa Hayyuna wa Hayyuna wa We made mention that without ablution, no, no salat. This ablution, we have demonstrated, inshallah, the way Prophet Sallam did it. The next week, we also called some of our brothers to also demonstrate for us to see as a way of reminding ourselves. Now we believe we are all abreast of how we should perform ablution in line with the dictates of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now, for those who are having shakku or was was or little confusion, I think it's on our uh, page in WhatsApp uh, for the Ummah. We can contact that, and inshallah, Kareem will get more clarification. Now, and we do. We recall that the author told us, as we have also confirmed. It is very, very hard, difficult for us to lay our hands on a particular booklet or book that is only out of on ablution of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Apart from this, you have this ablution mentioned in Muatta, mentioned in this, mentioned in that. Siyar alam al nubala al bidaya wa nihaya al Muatta Imam Malik min min hajul Muslim. They mention babul wudu, babul wudu. But to have a book that specifically talks and discusses the nitty gritty of the prophetic uh, ablution. It is this book. Now it says, al wudu. what is ablution? Logatan in Arabic language. That is, what is, when we say wudu, what does it mean? Logatan, grammatically, linguistically, what does it mean? It says, yaati bi dom. It comes with doma. We will call it al wudu. Wa, doma, al wudu. Then, Yati bil Fatha. We can also call it al wadu either al wudu or al wadu But the most commonly used is al wudu It says, Ma'uhu al Mazdar either Lugatan Yani Bima al Mazdar. In this context, it's not just a verb, but it comes like a noun, al Mazdar. Then it says, Yani Bima al Mazdar, Wakad Yani Bima al Ma. When they said in Arabic, al wudu it means water. Allahu Akbar. We have al mau Just like in Arabic, alhamdulillah, the most comprehensive language in the world is Arabic. You have, for this bottle, three different words. For instance, let's say love in Arabic. You have about 21 words used for word love, only love. al hubbu al wudu al mahabba and then al shiqqa al ishqu all these just for mujinna the same kalima in english just like when somebody calls he's talking to you you that you in english serves so many purposes but in arabic you have for every individual pronoun you have this you then replicated about 14 domayo 
and one in English. You cannot compare Arabic and English. You, one. You, two. Three of you. Hundred of you, you. Men, you. Female, you. Uh, all, all of them. But in Arabic, one male, anta. One female, anti. One boys or males, antuma, antuma, antum, antumna. That is for Arabic. So in, in this context, anma, that is wudu. When you said ablution in Arabic, alma, it means alma, al wudu. Meaning, if you want to perform this, you must get water. If you don't have water, then you go for tayammum. Now, alma, you call, like when someone says, tawadda'atu li salah. I use water. Tawadda'atu. I use water. That is wudu there. Li salah, to perform salah. Al tawadda'atu. Meaning, that word, it could be wudu, it could be wadu. All of them means the same thing. Alma'u. Now, al wudu shara'an. When you look at Kelma Wudu, Sharan, technically, Mane in Sharia, the Sharia context, the meaning of Wudu is that who are istimalu ma in tohu, using a clean water, clean water, Allah on some part of the body, some selected, not all part of the body. If it is part of the body, it has moved from Wudu to Gusul. So Wudu, istimalu ma in tohu, using some quantity of water. That is clean. Allah on some selected parts of the body. Which have been explained and legalized by Allah. Meaning, if you don't have the intention, you can pour water on some selected part of your body, but it will not translate to ablution. The reason why we said in ablution at Sunnah Prophet, one is required to say Bismillah. That Bismillah opens the way and then it makes it valid. Now, you do this, that is the meaning of ablution in the context of Sharia. Now, Mashuriya to Wudu Mila Kitab was Sunnah. The legality, legality of ablution from Quran and Sunnah. As we said, everything we do as Muslims, we must have reference. If you don't have reference from the Quran, you look at reference from Hadith. If you don't have, then run away. You go and check the Sahaba. If you don't have from the Sahaba, you and I are not expected to sit down and bring anything new as part of an act of ibadah, expecting Allah to give us reward. No. We can innovate things in dunya. But anything, umur din, matters, affairs of Islam, Allah SWT has completed it. Al-yawm, akmaltu lakum dinakum, wa atmamtu alaykum ni'mati, wa raditu lakum al-islam adina. Right from when Prophet Salah was alive, Allah SWT told him, nothing will be brought as a new concept, but we can build upon that which has been brought to us by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam using the uh, understanding of Sahaba. What is Masuriya? What is the reference point from, the, reference point from the Quran? Surah Al-Ma'idah, verse 6, Allah SWT says, Ya iya ladina amanu, all you believers, and ladina amanu are the ones expected to pray. And Ladina Kafaru, they are not expected to pray. The reason why Allah says, Lakum dinukum waliyadin. But for those who have followed the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah says, Ida kumtum ila salat. Anytime you get set, you get up to pray, then, Fagusilu wujuhakum, wash your faces. Fagusilu wujuhakum, wash your faces. Waidiyakum, and your hands. Ila al marafik, up to the elbows. And slightly rubbed over your head as we demonstrated back and front. And wash your leg up to the ankles. Now, let us understand this. Al Quran, those who believe that they have nothing to do with hadith, they are Quran. Anything they see in the Quran is what they believe, any other thing they don't believe. He said, a lot of hadith with the people are, they, don't, they don't do this, this and that. They only base their belief on what is called Allah. They don't want to hear called Rasul. Now, the first thing for you and I to understand, there are 1,000, more than 1 million concepts of ibadah that you and I ordinarily, however vast you are in the Quran, you will never understand the nitty-gritty until you consult hadith. 
One of them is wudu. Allah mentions only our faces, our hands, and then the heads. That's all. Likewise, you can never have in the Quran where Allah made mention that Salatu al Juma should be two and should be open. We only mention Surah al Juma. If I know the Ali Salat in Yom al Juma, first I'll be like Bikirilla, or there will be. When the salat is pronounced, is called upon on Friday, leave whatever you are doing, go and pray. You can never find in the Quran where Allah made mention that Salat al Jummah should be two rakats. Then you find it in the Hadith. Then if those ones who continue to say they only believe in what is in the Quran, then how do they go about other salawat, other things? Allahu Akbar Kabiru. In fact, this particular verse is the one that is talking about the purification as part and parcel of a Muslim. Not only for Salat, because Allah SWT made mention downward in the same verse. That when you are in the state of Janaba, go and fatah haru, go and purify. If you don't find more water around, fatayammamu, you do tayammam. All are supporting the fact that one is not expected to discharge anything in prayer, any act of ibadah, except for cleanness. Inna Allah tayyib. La yaqubalu illa tayyiba. Allah is clean, he will not collect anything except which, that which is clean. Now, that is a reference for a point for ablution from Quran. Now, Hadith will now give us step by step from the beginning to the end. Number one, the first Hadith here, عن أبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا تقبل صلاة أحدكم إذا أحدث حتى يتوضأ. On the authority of Abu Huraira, one of the finest Sahaba among the elderly that were in the company of Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم always almost every time one of such was Abu Huraira رضي الله تعالى عنه. In fact, in the collection, highest collector of ahadith, Abu Huraira reported that Prophet Sallam says, La tukubalu salatu ahadikum. Allah will not accept prayer of any one of you, either ahadatha, when he is in a state of impurity, hatta yatawabdoa, until such a Muslim performs ablution. Meaning, if you have performed or you have not performed, you must perform. If you have performed and something happened, as you made mention, now, previous discussion that somebody messed or and you can ascertain because there is another thing you need to understand. You have the sound, or you yourself, you you you, you even smell the odor. You know even the gra the gravity of that odor. Allahu Akbar. Some they know once they eat beans, they know the color, the 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 the, the posture, the the type of the <laughs> the fat that will come. If they eat pepper soup, they know the type. Yes. Yes, I remember a brother who wanted to go for Hajj. Every salat, astaghfirullah, every salat, he must break salat and go and perform ablution again. I'm told him, Allah is not a wicked Allah. You need to understand, not every time. And then there are certain things. If it is under medical, you can go and see doctor, you get medication, whatever. But if it persists, you can't just be breaking salat anyhow. But in this case of consuming some things, he wanted to travel for Hajj. And he became so disturbed that kind. Inshallah, la chicken haram. How will he go and be performing ablution? This, this, and that. So no, just have, put your mind at rest. There are certain things. Number one, if you do not hear the sound, and you are not the one uh, suppressing it, there are certain times that you can suppress it. Sunnah permits you to suppress it when it is suppressible. Not when you suppress it and you are dancing. Yes, some will be sweating inside salah. Don't go surah. That's one. The salat is becoming a, a fruitless exercise. But the one that you can suppress it within yourself, no any sound, no any, you don't perceive any bad odor, then you continue. But in this hadith now, if somebody is in a state of impurity, he needs to perform, purify. Now the purity, the, the, the impurity are of two categories. We have hadith, we have khabath. Now, in sharia, you and I are expected to be fit before you attain or you approach salah. 
Ida kumtum ina sala. Allah SWT says, Fagisi nu, idea kwa, hamsa hubi, all this, you need to get first, your own body must be clean. Then, your cloth is clean. If you have to urinate, urinate, you have performed ablution before, you have to perform another ablution. Now, anybody who prays, Without being in a state of purification, la tukubal salatu, Allah will not accept his prayer. Being an imam, being whoever, and if anybody does that and he leads others, others will have their own words, all the sins will be on his head. That is hadith of Abu Huraira, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, and Abdullah bin Umar, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. On the authority of Abdullah, the son of Umar, may Allah be pleased with two of them, and Umar. Umar bin Khattab and Abdullah bin Umar bin Khattab radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. Qala, Abdullah said, Inni samitun nabiyya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I overheard Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yakul saying, La yakubalu allahu salatan bi ghayri tahur. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not accept any prayer offered without ablution. Without ablution. Tahur here means purification. The best of purification is not ablution. Wa la sadaqatan min dalul. And Allah will not also accept any charity given out from embezzlement. Subhanallah. La yakubalu Allahu salatan bi ghayri tahur. Allah will not accept any prayer offered by any Muslim without ablution. Kama la yakubalu. In the same way, Allah will not accept any charity. Building of a masjid, sponsoring orphans, feeding the poor, Helping the downtrodden, coming to the head of the, the less privileged in the community from embezzlement, mean Galul. How Galul? Surah 2, Al Imran, verse 161. Allah SWT says, Woman Yaglul, Yati Whether embezzle or loot the treasury, because some people get misled or coerced into doing bad things, all with the name or with the intention that you can pack money. You can make ritual money, you can do anything, then you start spending in the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kalla wallah. This hadith of Abdullah bin Umar negates that. That la yakbalu Allahu salatan bi ghayri tahur. Allah will not accept any prayer observed, over by any one of us without performing ablution. Wala sadaqa tamin galul. Likewise, Allah will not accept any sadaqa. Any one of us gives out min galul from embezzlement. We all know the meaning of embezzlement. Something that doesn't belong to us, taken from it, including the Sahaba, the scholars of Hadith, they said even those who perform well, jihad with Prophet from Ghanima, once that Ghanima has not been distributed, has not been shared by Prophet whoever takes anything from it, that person will bring it forth on the day of Qiyamah. Number three, An Abdullah bin Abbas, radiallahu ta'ala and Huma. We all know Abdullah bin Abbas, Allahu Akbar. One of the few that enjoyed the company of Prophet Sallam and enjoyed the special prayer of Prophet Muhammad Sallam till he died. Prophet Sallam prayed for him. He was called upon to join Majlis Shura. You know, Shura, even in our masjid, we have a committee of elders. All the elders are the Shura. But Abdullah bin Abbas was the only young guy whom Prophet Sallam co opted to be from among the Shura, even at tender age, because of the much wisdom Allah SWT allocated to him still as a result of the prayer of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for him Prophet sallam pray for him that Allahumma allimhu Allahumma faqihu fi deen wa allimhu ta'wila oh Allah this boy Allahu Akbar Abdullah bin Abbas faqihu fi deen make him an encyclopedia of jurisprudence knowledge of Islam Islamic theology Islamic subhanallah wa allimhu ta'wila and make him to know the inside out Jalla Jalaluka Ya Allah. Inside out of Islam. So among the Katel, in the Sahaba, those whom Allah SWT used till hikmata man yasha, among whom Allah SWT made vast, were rasi khuna fil ilm. Prophet Sallam now co-opted Abdullah ibn Abbas, radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. Now, Abdullah ibn Abbas now reported this hadith for Prophet Sallam, who was one of the Ahlul Bayt, one of the blood relations of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He says, Prophet Sallam said, In Mama Umir to the Wudu, Allah Ta'ala commanded me to perform ablution. It's a command from Allah. Where is that command? Ya ayya ladina amanu, ida kumtum ila salat. All who believe, anytime it is time for you to pray, to get to salat, Allah Ta'ala says, Fagusulu, 
wujuhakum, wash off your faces, waidiyakum, and your hands, your forearms, ila al-kahabain, up to, ila al-mufakir, to the end booth. You wash it. This is a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he made mention, even all the prophets that had come before him, Allah commanded them to perform ablution. Isa alayhi salam performed ablution. Noah alayhi salam performed ablution. Musa alayhi salam performed ablution. All of them performed ablution. All of them offered the similar prayers we are offering today. Some of them during their time, only ruku, only sujur, some while standing. We saw that of Musa alayhi salam. Allah SWT told them, after liberating them from Firaun, told them, Ibn Kulu Misra, once you get there, the Kharu Sujjadan, Allah, Kulu Hitpatun, Nafur Lakum Khatoyakum, Fasa Nazibi Al Muhsidin, Fabaddan Al Ladina Zulamu, Kul Al Ladin Allah Hakwa. They changed that, that's their own form. But when Prophet came, Allah asked Jibril to take him round, Isra Al Mi'raj, Subhan Al Ladi Asra Bi Abidhi Laylan, Min Al Masjid Al Haram, In Al Masjid Al Aqsa Al Ladi Barak Me Hawlahu. That's the Salah was taking on night journey. There he met with a sizable number of prophets of Allah, whom all he led in Salah. He led Musa alayhi salam. He led Adam alayhi salam. All of them welcomed him. In Samaj, the first summer, he met Adam. The second one, Ibrahim. Third one, all of them like that. And up to Musa alayhi salam. We all know the story. We don't need to go there. When Allah gave him 50 Salah, 50 Raka. 50 salat a day. Ya Allah, Jalaluka, Ya Allah. Many people will have been, somebody will wear Jalabi and say, you soon have energy company because of 50. But Alhamdulillah, Allah makes it easier. May Allah continue to make it easier for all of us. Out of 50, Musa told him, go back to Allah. Your Ummah will not be able to do up to five. After that fact, he demonstrated, he led them in salat, all these Anbiya, including Adam alayhi salam, including Ibrahim alayhi salam. We have authentic hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallam. Anna Sayyid walad Adam la faqar. I'm the leader of all mankind. La Fakar. In fact, Allah Akbar. When he met with Adam alayhi salam, Adam welcomed him. As-salamu alayka. They were asking the angel before opening the door for him. Who is the person come? Coming in. Who is the person? They said, Muhammad Rasulullah. Ah, sallallahu We have been told about him. Let him see us. And then he says, As-salamu alayka. Prophet Sallam expressed salam. Adam alayhi salam responded. And then he called him, my Abd. And then you called uh, Abu Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Sayyidul Alameen. Allah might have brought me to be the first of prophets, but you are the last and the best. May Allah make all of us to be with him in the matter of doubt. He said, Umar Kibir Wudu, I was commanded to perform ablution. If I come to Ilas Salat, at every point in time, I want to pray. Now, the scholars of Hadith, they made comments on that. Is it for every Salat, one is required to perform ablution? No. But when it's required to have ablution, meaning you perform ablution for zoo, you still have your ablution during housewife, you may not revisit it because you have the ablution intact. But it's better for you and I because the Jidu will do. When we repeat ablution, you perform more, we do more fresh ablution upon ablution. No run Allah no. And that is symbol getting to Al Jannah. As Allah made mention Surah to know. No run Allah no. And that was what was also reported by uh, uh, about Bilal. When Prophet Sallam overheard his footstep, entry Al Jannah. And Prophet Sallam asked him, Ya Bilal, I heard your footstep. You are walking into Al Jannah majestically. What are you doing? What are the extra ordinary things that you are doing? He mentioned that I don't do anything. My salat on the time, my nafila I do, but I don't allow one ablution to dry off in my body until I perform another one. I make sure even if he has another, he has ablution, for every salat he will still perform. So Tejidid will do, let us also imbibe this. It's no run Allah no. We get at this in the front. After every point in time you perform, once you wash your hands, or provide the minor sins committed by the hands, Allah SWT erase them. Whatever you might have looked haram, that is not haram, the major. No, we have major sins, we have minor. First Allah mentioned khatoya, and khatoya are not kabair. Kabail, shirk, even if you perform ablution one million times, if you don't do tawbah for shirk, that ablution is not avoid. You may have your ablution, but you will not have reward for that person who performs ablution for ablution. Allah ta'ala alam. Now, hadith number four, talking about the legality, the sharia concept, the sharia reference about ablution on the authority of Abi Sa'id al-Khudri, Allah Akbar, is another beautiful and fine among the finest Sahaba, Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, 
We normally talk about him. Very gentle, soft-spoken, gentle growing, humility par excellence. The reason why Professor Nasser says, just here, yeah, yeah, but there, you want me to make you a governor to go to another place. You are too soft to be a leader. Maintain the tranquility Allah has given to you. We know you don't have anything against you in terms of character and mannerism. But when it comes to standing firmly, to be a, where you need to win big stick, you cannot do. So don't go for it. Maintain this. Allahu Akbar. Abi Sa'in al-Khudr radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, he says, Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Miftahu salat al-wudu. The key to prayer is ablution. Prophet sallallahu said this. The key to prayer is ablution. Wa takbiru tahrimuha. Allahu Akbar kabiru. Takbiru tal-ihram. After opening with ablution. Takbiru tal-ihram, that is tahlimuha. Tahrimuha. Tahrimuha means that is what made that thing forbidden for anything, for anybody, for any deity, except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning, once you say takbiru tal-ihram, Allahu Akbar, forget about dunya. You are not talking with anybody. وَعْبُدُ رَبَّكَ حَتَّى يَأْتِيَكَ الْيَقِينَ In hadith of Jibreel, when Jibreel came to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, أَخْبِرْنَا لِلْإِحْسَانِ Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, the meaning of Ihsan, which is the highest rank of faith, أَنْ تَعْبُدَ رَبَّكَ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَاو Until you get to a stage, when you worship, you worship your Lord, كَأَنَّكَ تَرَاو As if you are seeing Allah face to face. فَإِنْ لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاو even though you may not see Allah, فَإِنَّهُ يَرَاكَ Certainly Allah sees you. So the way you comport yourself, you conduct yourself, that is, تَكِبِيرُ تَحَرِيمُ Once you say تَكِبِيرُ تَلِهِرَا, you don't talk to anybody. Anybody calling you, you don't answer again. You say, ah, you know, PA, DG is calling PA. Don't come in a salad because of any DG. That's here. Don't terminate any salah. So that is taharimwa. Once you have not done takbir to Iran, even they are doing the comma, and you need to attend to whoever, you can go out and attend and come back. But once you say, Allahu Akbar, that is what Prophet is saying. What takbir taharimwa, it is haram. Once you say takbir, that thing, that act is special, meant for Allah alone. Wa anna al-masajida lillah. كُلُنَّ صَلَاتِ وَنُسُكِ وَمَحْيَايَ وَمَمَاتِ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ In salat, you don't remember anything but Allah. That is why Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said we should do adil adhikar, all the supplications you mentioned, the dua list of ta'ah, opening prayers, because shaitan will go and come. He does that. We made mention of the shaitan, that particular one that visit people in salat. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said yes, he thought he affects me. Not just when Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala as Prophet gave Prophet the opportunity to defeat him. The name is Khinzib. Khinzib. That's the name of that shaitan. And Bauta, is it one that will come to me, that will come to thee, that will come? Yes. The way shaitan operates, Allah says, Inna hu yaraakum. Hu wa qabilu min haithu la tarawnahu. Him and his cohort, his agents, they see you from where you don't see them. The same Iblis, it is the same Iblis that was the Sabbath, the reason why Allah sent Adam alayhi salam to dunya. The same Iblis from that time is the same Iblis to today. The same Shaitan. Shaitan are not two. One. But he has his cohort, battalions. He has troops that he sent on errand. Among them, al kasiyatul Ariyat. He uses hard naked dressed women. He sends money too. Money. He made mention it that Sahami, my straight, most uh, formidable sword that he uses, and Nisa, Walmal, Fulus, Kudi, the matter, that is going to be Sabbath for many to be in hell. May Allah not make you a knife from among them. Now, this in this Magana, Takbir Taharimoha, when you say Takbir Taharimoha, you don't talk with anybody. You say, Mana Shitu Kamasa, Kata Kurama, Allah. Or uh, shift more. That one of why we said when you move closer to somebody, you want to do feet for feet. And the person moves, you move again. As you move, some people will look at you. Looking is even causing obstruction in salat. Then talking is so that salat is gone. So tahalimu, I want to say the graph around. What taslim tahaliluha? The liberation, the freedom you get is assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. 
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. That is freedom. Once you take without Iran, no freedom. You cannot bring in anything on your own. Okay. Allahi wa na yaskiya kullum. She, she, she had a dogo. You know, some people used to say, when Imam, Wallahi, bhaya budi baki. Ya bhaya budi baki. Ya na budi baki de yawa. Allahu akbar kabiru. I remember one, one of our naive, naive, he's still the same naive. You don't ask me. You say, somebody, if you go to Ruku, before even if you are in the gate, in the, in the door, you will not need salat. So Ruku, no, I said, no, 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 no. Okay, you talk to the person, the person now stretch and then, then I did your Ruku, come on. Allah, what can be That is human being. But in salat, once you take prayer to the Iran, you are on your own with Allah. You don't do anything. What the slim tahliluha terminating salat by saying assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah that is tahliluha that is ending freedom then you can now talk to somebody ah now for an anti slabia I'm a chicken salah go back to slabia baba fada Allah ta'ala alam because of time inshallah kareem we stop here next the evening Allah ta'ala we start from fadlul wudu the benefits we derive, part of what we have mentioned, and those yet are to mention, inshallah, Kerim. May Allah make it easier for all of us. All our component of Ibadah, including this, this sitting, may Allah make it channel for all of us to get to Al-Jannatul Fudaw. Inna hadi dedikira wa fama, inshallah, taqada ila rabbihi sabila. If there's any question, we take, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Now. <laughs> now, you said you, uh, you don't allow it to attend to the Yes, yes. I have some challenges, even in this town. Now, there are some brothers, when you go to all of them, they try to uh, move. Uh, Elder, yes, Elder yes. I tried it several times. Now, the best I could do was to avoid standing near them. Um, but I want you to, now, when you are doing that, yes. try and educate them. MashaAllah. Educate them so that they avoid it. You can even look across some time. MashaAllah. When you observe this, you can actually ask them to do it. The Arabs used to do it. I have to look at them. No, no. They, 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 they never wanted to. Yes. 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 But we are all black. MashaAllah. He's not understanding. He's not understanding. Yes. 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 Alhamdulillah. Because I observe this. Jazakumullah khaira. Jazakumullah khaira. Wa alaykum salam. Okay. Wallahi, what Allah is saying, if this is in my mind, I can get to talk about you. Did you just come in now or you have been here? You know, I made mention of reference to you. I never saw you. You know about the... No. It is happening always and every day. I am going to reach only now. No. Because those people call just the person that... Oh, Lord, say some of them may not be around. Some of not, then may not be around. Yeah. Hey. Hey, we don't want to personalize it. I got the point. I got the point. I pray also as my mom, and I observe so many things. Some, I call them individually. If you are to mention names, perhaps the person who, among those who I also know, you understand? But I give people excuses of maybe there's uh, something, maybe Rito or something. But if there's any ailment or whatever, somebody can signal. And there's no even anything. One cannot continue to have an injury on the street every year, every day, every time. No. Some, they, don't, they may not have the understanding. But inshallah, Kareem, as you said, we also try to draw the attention to it. Inshallah, Kareem. Some, they will move. Once you move with them, I also know, but instead of personalizing it, let us talk generally. Wallahi, somebody looked at my face one day. In Salat, I, he moved, I moved with him. He moved again, I moved. He moved again, I moved. No. As, you, as you now look at me, Kamar Astaghfirullah. That's so much, oh, but he didn't say to God, okay, me, ba matala. After Salat, yes, Wallahi, and now call the person, right, right, right. <laughs> like the shit to in the Kenny. Ah, okay. It's not like that. Kaza, 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 kaza. Some.
You just come now. Let me give just one example. Do it like this. Aha. So as you do, move, come back. Aha. If you continue like that, it's moving. Then all of you, two of you, you are playing in salat. I'm coming. <laughs> you are playing in salat. If you continue, you know, this like this. Like this. Going to like this. It's becoming preparation for wrestling. <laughs> so instead of doing that, you move a bit, you move a bit, then you can draw the person without talking. If you didn't move there, after salat, we talk to the person, this thing, akwaya at this man Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says this, say that, wallahu ta'ala alam. But generally, eh? I heard that he said, okay, when I see him next time, did I avoid him? We should not avoid anybody in salah. But, but those who are to avoid, first Allah has already told them not to come for salah. Somebody consuming garlic, uh, onion, he should. Okay. Yes. yes. And you, you move a bit, as, you can you now leave that, that furniture? Yeah. You continue with your salah. That's what I said. After salat, you not draw his attention. Or you talk to any of the minors around that I observe so, 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 so that we can make it general admonition. So that we will not target one particular person. Because some, they may be doing it out of, maybe they don't know. But once you are told, I don't know, I don't know, no day, al Qiyamah. Nobody will have any hijjah against Allah or against Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah forgive all our shortcomings. Uh, yes. Little daughter that is not doing it. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Al-Mara'atul Ha'id, menstruating woman. Into a little daughter, if she is menstruating, she cannot also pass. Yes, some by two of the start. Wallah Alam, we are not going there today. But five years, I know Allah. But don't even allow five years. Let's do the Sunnah. Putting the Sutra is more, uh, more ideal. For you than to even allow, but if you are starting and a young baby, no, I don't have a young baby. But we are talking of Al Maratul Ha'id, menstruating woman in Jimon's Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I think we are okay. Subhanakallah, Muhammad, Shah Allah, Ilaha, Illa, and Tastakwaka, or two will May Allah write in our book of records that will inshallah afford us Al Jannah for doubt. Nigeria, may Allah bring back sustainable peace and tranquility. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Rahim Allah, La Ilaha, Illa, or Hail for you. La Ta'afudu Husina to Allah, no. له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ظل الذي يشفع عنده إلا بإذنه ليعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يهوده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته